Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem count number of hops. So before we move forward, let's talk about the feedback of this problem. This problem is a very famous and an introductory problem of dynamic programming. So a basic knowledge of dynamic programming is required here. At least you should know what is meant by recursion and what are the problems that we can solve using recursion. Memoization, even if you are not acquainted with it, I would teach you that. So now let us read the very first sample test case itself. So it is told that a frog can take a jump of one. Either it can take a jump of one or let me just give you a visualization too. So it is told that a frog can take a jump of one or it can take a jump of two or it can take a jump of three itself. Okay. So now to reach a particular position one, there is no other option but the frog can take a jump of one itself. But let's say the given value is seven. So it is one, two, three. Let's take three, not four. Okay. So now the what the frog can do is frog can do a jump of one here and one here. So I can say that I have a count here. Okay. So the frog can now take a jump of two and he can reach here. So I would say that yes, I have one more of it. So now let's instead of four, let us say that the given value is two. Okay. So the given value is two, that is zero, zero to one, one to two itself. Okay. So the very first thing that the frog can do is the frog can take a jump of one and take a jump of one more. So we can say that it is once. Now the frog can do a jump of two again. And we can say that for the value two, we have two values. So we have two values if the frog jump is two itself. Okay. So now let's talk about three. What would be the result for three? So if you see three would be the result of something like this. Like it would be a mix of this, 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 or it can take a jump of one and then it can take a jump of two or it can take a jump of two and then it can take a jump of one. So after a certain instance, if we have a range more than equal to three, then we can either take a jump of one, either it can take a jump of two, either we can take a jump of three. Okay. So basically we are told to find the number of views. Okay. So let's say you are lost in a jungle and there are multiple paths that you have and it is told that how many of the path lead to the destination. So what you would do is you would visit this path then you would visit this path keep a counter keep a counter let's say this path you were not able to visit. So now you would say that three is my answer the three would be the number of path that would lead me to the destination. And yes, it makes sense. So in the same manner, mm. what we need to basically do is we need to explore all possible and we need to return the count of valid ones. Return the count of valid ones. This is what we need to do. This is the thing that is required. Whenever you come to the conclusion that we need to explore all possible ways, this is nothing but recursion. Okay. Now we would talk about recursion. Okay. So now what is basically recursion? So see, if the path is let's say we need to calculate the value for four okay we need to calculate the value for four 
so either i can start from 1 either i can take a jump of 2 either i can take a jump of 3 the first jump can be this so if i have taken a jump of 1 then the remaining one would be 3 if i have taken a jump of 2 the remaining value would be 2 if i have taken a jump of 3 the remaining value would be 1 okay now if the given value is 3 so we have already calculated the value for 3 okay so we have already calculated the value for 2 not 3 so i would say that this would return me something like 2 how we have seen that in here okay this this and one is this okay so i would say this would be returned from this and if it is one what would be the scenario like it is zero to one so i can only take a jump of one and this value is three so if i have a value of three what all i can do i can take a jump of one i can take a jump of two i can take a jump of three i can do that so again we can see that okay if we have taken a jump of one the remaining value is two if i have taken a jump of two the remaining value is one and this remaining value is zero itself okay so if you observe that this two what is the value associated with two the value associated is two here and for one the value is one because we have seen this okay now for zero this also lead us to a destination that what was our objective to land at the point zero to make one two three hops and land at a point zero yes it is absolutely feasible i started from four i took a jump of three okay i took a jump of one and i i took a jump of three and i finished four one and three and i finished four so remaining value would be zero so this is a valid thing so i would also return one from this like whichever valid paths are there what do you mean by valid paths which lead me to the destination when we are lost in a jungle and whichever path that would lead me to the country roads would be my solution so in the same manner what i can say is this led me to a country road one and this value is already known that yes there would be two values that would lead me to the country road now this value would lead me to the country roads okay now this value would also lead me to the country roads this value is also leading me to the country roads so how many values are there so the value that is contributed from there is two this is one this is one and this is again two and this is one again so the val total value is nothing but seven so i could have drawn the whole tree itself but the it would be very haphazard and it would be very nasty that is why i have taken the pre inbuilt value so you can just draw the tree for that also what would be that tree that you need to associate so from two i can take uh, i can take a jump of two i can take a jump of one so this is how this i can take a jump of one so this is how the value is returned two from this okay so two has a value two from this point i can take a jump of either one or i can take a jump of two okay so let me draw the tree for true itself so see the value is two i can take a jump of one i can take a jump of two if i have taken a jump of one the remaining value would be one and this remaining value would be zero okay this value is again one so i can only take a jump of one and the remaining value would be zero so there are two values that led me to the country roads that is this value and this value so one plus one that is why the value is two at these all instance rest all the values have been shown to you so what i meant to say is all the values which would lead me to the point zero point zero means what we have used valid steps and we have reached the finishing point and that is absolutely fine so the recursive recursion would be something like this that the we would observe the leaf node for the base cases so we would say 
that if the value is 1 we would return 1 if the value is 2 we would return 2 if the value is 0 I would also return 1 why because this is also a valid solution this is a valid solution and this is the, these are the base cases okay else if it is something more than 1 2 or 3 then what we would do is we would add the values of n minus 1 n minus 2 and n minus 3 and we would add up all these values and that would be my result itself okay so let's implement the recursive solution so now at this point long long is needed again and again so what i would do is i would do hash define hash define okay and i would say ll is equals to long long like instead of long long i would simply use ll at this point now this is a workaround of the solution so i would directly implement the memoization thing and let's see that in action itself okay so now what we would do is we would use ll rec and then we would use something like long long n and then we would also have this rem thing so we would pass this rem as pass by reference so we would pass by reference itself okay at this point we would say if n is equals to equals to 0 or n is equals to equals to 1 we would simply return 1 from that instance now if n is equals to equals to 2 then we would return 2 at this instance now after this point before like let us calculate the answer long long answer is equals to rec of n minus 1 comma rem okay and then we have something like modulo m because we have already defined it as a constant okay this is done and now we would have this plus thing so now we would use the same thing again and again again and again and then again a plus and this again okay so this would be n minus 1 then it would be n minus 2 and this would be n minus 3 modulo m itself now before this as the answer we would say that rem of n is equal to my answer and then the whole modulo thing is also needed at this instance okay so rem answer and then we would return the value of answer itself now this is done now let us see if we are able to get an ac or not and yes this is correct now let us submit this and see if we are able to get the correct value or not now okay so before the calculation we need to see if that value is present in the rem or not so if that value is not equal to minus 1 that means it is not it is already processed if it is not equal to minus 1 that is means it is processed so we would say rem of n itself now let us submit this again and see how many errors are we able to make and this is correct so analyzing the time complexity we are calculating each value exactly once so the time complexity is now big of n and the space complexity is also big of n because we are using an array of that that's it for today thank you and have a nice day